Gray Wolf 23DBH here at Haylet RV of Cold Water, Michigan. This is not just any Gray Wolf. This is a Gray Wolf Limited Series. This has a big options bundle on it, as indicated by the little limited sign right under the word wolf there, that uh, tells you that there's a, a bunch of extra stuff included on this one. Not available on every Gray Wolf. It's, only, it's a bundle package, only available to top shelf dealers, meaning high, high volume dealers. Um, it's kind of one of their ways to say thank you. It's not stuff you have to pay for, it's stuff that you get. So not every single 23 DBH you see is going to be equipped like this. Keep in mind that was a limited time series of things that we had to buy into when it was available. So if we sell this one off that's in this video and we restock another one, I may not reshoot footage, but I will try to make the photos line up with the actual unit in stock. So if the one we have in stock looks different in terms of fabrics or options or stuff, trust those pictures a little more. So let's get dug in here because there's a lot to cover on this little, I mean, little trailer with a lot of good going on. So we've got a, uh, one of those upgrades I was telling you is the power awning here. And what's nice, you know, just push a button, awning comes in, awning comes out. I'm a little close to the uh, little wolf pup next to us, another member of the Cherokee family, like this gray wolf. Um, by the way, currently the second best selling family of campers out there is the Cherokee family, the gray wolf being the largest percentage of that. So these are very common, very popular. Um, you know, hopefully you don't need parts for them. If you do, it's easy to get them because it's a Forest River product and they're the largest travel trailer manufacturer out there. Uh, we've got some fun things, like you see that little blue glow right there. We've got a full neon blue light strip going on under the awning, as well as above the slide out, you can see that glow right there. Um, it's one of those extra things I was telling you about. Awning's not out far enough for me to show you this, but this is an easy adjust awning. You can see how easily I can move that arm right there. That is what will pitch adjust the awning, and that's all the harder it is. You don't have to like crank stuff, tighten stuff down, twist things, move that, put your left leg over your right ear, none of that garbage. You just grab the awning, pull it. Now it's on an angle. That's it. Um, a lot of these shorter bunkhouse models have sacrificed things like the front pass-through storage. You will find on Cherokee products that is not something they're willing to give up. That's a core feature that you need for family camp and you need that storage space. Kind of like the diamond plate. I've seen manufacturers start getting a dollar cheaper on things in, in kind of scary ways. Um, giving up that diamond plate opens you up for the opportunity uh, for some, uh, you know, dents and dings and stones and things on the front of your trailer. Now, another thing they do with the Cherokee family is they actually, uh, they significantly thicken the aluminum on the front of the trailer to help prevent that as well. So not only are we getting diamond plate, but instead of 0.024 inch aluminum, we have 0.06 inch aluminum on the front. That's the kind of aluminum they use to build horse and livestock trailers super heavy duty stuff. We're familiar with that because that's also the type of business we have here at Halitz. Pretty much, if it's on wheels, we can sell it. Take it in on trade. You got cars, you got a horse trailer, you want anything swapped in, bought, purchased, traded, in or out, we can do it. Um, you know, pieces, parts, hitching, financing. This, the whole reason you're looking at doing this is because you're looking for fun, right? That's our goal. Make this fun, simple, and easy. Um, another one of those upgrades, Rear travel rack on the back over here. This uh, works like roughly a 200 pound cargo tray, but uh, you can fold this down. You see the spare tire is also mounted on here. You do not have to take that off to fold this down. You fold it down, you can strap bikes to it, uh, You know, put your coolers on there, just extra stuff. It gives you all that extra room. They do not have to put a second door on this floor plan um, uh, for fire code, uh, reasons they put the second floor or door on this floor plan because it's really really handy and super awesome It goes directly to the bathroom and that's gonna seem really odd to folks who have never had a camper You're like, uh, that's weird, and I don't know if I like it Talk to anybody who's ever had a bunkhouse camper and ask them the number one reason people and especially kids are in and out of the camper It's that right there. It's it's the toilet kids got to get to the potty That's why this is here and the fact that this door is here is going to cut down on so much dirt and debris getting tracked through your camper, it's not even funny. Now the other cool thing here is this is a friction sprung door. It fights itself from opening and closing, so I can heave this thing and it won't slam shut. Now the awning's right here. If the wind caught that, it would slap the awning, but you can see I can bash on this thing and it won't do that. That is here to protect this awning, not to mention the fact that it's just easier. It's just easier having a door like this. And they still put a double step on the rear door. A lot of manufacturers will only put a single on the back door because you walk in and out when you're buying it. You walk in and out of the front door, not the back door. They don't cut corners. That's what I like about this. Um, outside Entertainment Center, another one of those upgrades. Your TV mounts on a little black uh, 
thing looks about like that. The TV actually slides inside and outside. Now, sometimes Grey Wolves include TVs from the factory. Sometimes they do not. Double check our listing to make sure. I don't see one in this camper. That doesn't mean that it's not there. It just means I haven't seen it yet if it is. Um, the, uh, you know, sometimes uh, it, we found that it's cheaper to get a TV from, say, Target or Walmart. Sometimes it's cheaper from the manufacturer. It just depends. And uh, we like to make sure that you're getting the best deal possible out there. Um, so right away when we step in, I, uh, I want to point out that I don't really have any lights on in here. And it's still pretty bright and comfy. It's easy to see and get around in this trailer. Um, you know, if you want to, you can come through and flip some extra lights on. And what I do like is there are plenty of lights throughout this thing. Uh, let's, uh, let's just start getting dug in here. So this is called the... This looks like the natural decor. Um, and again, keep in mind, your interior fabrics might vary from model to model that we have in stock. But uh, long story short, would you like your camper brown or browner? And that's literally the question you need to ask yourself because everything's neutral earth tones right now. Um, you know, they don't make red, green, blue like they used to every year. So uh, right here, big U dinette in the slide out. Now what's kind of cool in the Gray Wolf, 100% carpetless. There is no carpet anywhere on the main deck of this RV anywhere. So super easy to clean. You know, 30 seconds with a broom and you've got this thing dusted out. Then you can go through and you're all done camping with the Swiffer or whatever and, and you're all set. Now we have added, this is an option that we put in, these mega dinette drawers. And there's one on each side of the dinette. So it goes all the way to the back of the dinette. You get 100% of your storage access pulling out and the storage comes to you instead of you digging into the storage. And look at the construction. This is 5 8 tongue and groove plywood. That's the exact same material you're going to see used on the floor of this camper. And that's one of the things I like about uh, the Cherokee family. Whether it's Cherokee, Gray Wolf, Wolf Pup, the general um, structure of them is identical. The, uh, the floor is 5 8 uh, tongue groove plywood. Your walls are an average of 12 inch on center wall studs. That is way above industry average. Way above. A good camper has 16s. A cheap camper has 24s. This has 12 inch average on center walls. That's cool. Uh, now you'll notice that all of your countertop type materials, whether it is this tabletop, um, your, your main kitchen counter, they're all sealed. There's nowhere, there's no seams. There's nowhere where water can get into these. Now because of that, you can have a flush mount sink with an under uh, mounted, um, uh, or pardon me, a flush mount sink cover with an under mounted sink. It gives you a way bigger sink area. Not to mention the fact that is legitimate countertop material. You can, a lot of things have these flimsy little white countertop covers. You can't put any weight on them. You'll buckle them, even one bag of groceries. This is not going to fail. This will not fail. Good storage in here too. Two big drawers instead of two small drawers like you normally find. Again, all plywood construction, even the front side of the box here, which gets the brunt of the, the abuse from people pulling on it. Um, you know, every square inch that they could, they opened up for you in here. They even uh, recessed the oven. They mounted the oven below the surface of the countertop to give you maximum countertop space here as well. And big overhead kitchen cabinet here. Let me, easiest way I can show you that. About the size of a dinner plate. We've all seen these things. And that cabinet is way <laughs> bigger than a dinner plate. It almost looks funny up in there. Now, um, a lot of smaller campers like this one are not going to have central air. This uh, Grey Wolf does still have central AC, which is a really critical thing because you've got people sleeping in the back of the camper, in the front of the camper. You need that airflow to efficiently get to both ends of the trailer. This extra pantry or closet or linen cabinet or towel space right here, whatever you want to use it for, a little speck of dust on my screen there. All right, anyway, I, sorry, I saw something shiny. <laughs> Anyway, um, this is worth its weight in gold. You can sleep a bunch of people here. You can also keep some food for them. Now, the cool thing about uh, the way they do this double-double bunkhouse is you have a built-in ladder, so you don't have to throw your kids to the upper bunk. It's easy to get there. And uh, the upper bunks uh, in a uh, Cherokee trailer have a 300-pound per, per sleeping space capacity. So that's a 600-pound upper bunk. It's almost overbuilt with the idea that your kids are going to be all jacked up on Mountain Dew and gummy bears and s'mores and every other thing that they shouldn't eat every day. But you say, hey, we're camping. Let them have it, you know. So then they come in the camper and it's like putting lightning in a bottle. They're going to jump around like crazy up here. It's built for that. Notice, too, it is built for kids. They've got power outlets near any sitting and sleeping space so that everybody gets their own little slice of the entertainment world. You also have little... 
um, sleeping spotlights for each sleeping space. Um, back here, again, uh, bathroom has direct access to the outside, or I guess you have direct access to the bathroom from the outside, depends on how you want to look at it. Even though this is a family class camper with a budget in mind, they still put nicer fixtures in here like the bigger fan. This fan can create a six mile an hour breeze in your camper. All you have to do is open this giant window over here and turn that fan on. You will always have a nice breeze rolling through your trailer. And again, even in the bathroom, we're getting the nicer countertops. We're also getting a bigger sink. I can actually wash my hands in here. You know, it's not one of these little dog bowl sinks. And it sounds stupid, but the fact that like their medicine cabinet is mounted on an angle, that's very uncommon. But this is how it's supposed to be done. This doesn't seem remarkable, because this is how it's supposed to be done. This is how it is every day. When you sit and when you're when you're at your house and you're sitting straight in front of the sink, you expect to look up to the mirror uh, to be able to to you know do your hair or shave your face or whatever. Most trailers they mount the mirror against this wall over here, so here's the sink and then you're doing this and it's weird and it's awkward you don't have that problem in a Cherokee it's just it's just a better thought out design and that's what I like about these um, so obviously the uh, the slide here you know the other cool thing about um, this uh, this door right here is when this slide is in you can still slide through here if you need to get to the bathroom but you don't have to it's just easier to get to now um, by the way this big window right here, wait for the camera to, there we go. We've got nicer wooden plantation blinds, not cheap metal blinds like you typically find at this price point. At these dollars, I expect to see metal blinds. Um, it's, it's really nice, you don't have those in a Grey Wolf. Here in the living room, we have the nicer wooden blinds. In the bedroom and in that rear bunk, the bottom bunk, you, you have a nicer pleated shade, a nightshade, not a metal blind. Uh, metal blinds get bent up and twisted up and broken, easy. Uh, now you don't have to worry about that. Notice too, we have privacy doors not curtains stuff like that adds up it's a couple dollars more but now everybody gets privacy that you otherwise wouldn't have i love the very earthen nature of the entertainment center here um growing up camping for me was fishing poles and fireflies and we roasted our s'mores off a a, a, a stick that i broke off of a bush and, and dad whittled the uh, the leaves off of that's you know that was us camping growing up the fact that this has a TV, wow, that's cool. Not to mention the fact that they really went above and beyond finishing this off with the, the faux stone appearance here. And again, everything is sealed edge countertop. You could set your drink here, and if it sweats, it's not going to bleed down into this and cause swelling and decay. That is just not an issue. They've eliminated it. All-in-one entertainment system. This is, you don't need to bring all, along extra electronics, and it's a Furion brand system. Furion is designed for RV use. It's designed to be shaken, to be jumped around, to be thrown around, because that's what it's like when you tow a camper. It is violent back here. It is violent. Um, they have also made sure that they have a functional cabinet space here, where a lot of manufacturers have like the illusion of cabinetry. If you open up the cabinets, they're sometimes they're only like a couple inches thick. They're worthless, but not in a Cherokee family trailer. And they're including just the, the simplest things that I love, a shoe garage. Folks at home, have you ever had a bunkhouse camper? I bet you had a pile of shoes by the door. Now you don't. It's, it's just the dumb stuff like that that makes us more enjoyable from day to day. Now look at the size of the windows they have going on here. Almost floor to ceiling. Almost floor to ceiling window over there with a giant fire escape window over here. Lots and lots of light going on. Oh, you get to see my legs. Lucky you guys. Good for you. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But uh, both sides of the bed do have uh, power outlets here for um, alarm clocks and CPAP machines and all that good stuff. I mean, this this has it all. This is the do-it-all trailer. Extra lights up here in the bedroom. Again, we do have air vents uh, all over the place. This is a perfect family trailer. If uh, you've never owned a camper and you're thinking about getting started, you're looking at bunk houses, this is a perfect option. If you're upgrading from a pop-up, perfect trailer um uh, this this floor plan is just hotter than hotcakes right now if you guys want to go resell this eventually because eventually everything does resells you'll have no trouble finding a home for this floor plan later it, that just means that you're going to have a better resale value you're going to have a better experience and you're going to have a floor plan that actually takes care of your whole family and you're going to get it here from a family-owned dealership uh, I'm, I'm one of the boss's kids you know i've been through every factory i get to see the stuff without the skin 
Uh, and I, I mean, we've hung our hat on these. This is one of the best selling brands out there and for good reasons. Nothing is guaranteed problem free, but they stand behind their product and we stand behind them. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you everybody, hope this is fun. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.